unless you have been living under a rock for the last 20 years, you know that clip was from Menopause the Musical. At least you have heard about it. I'm now joined by Rebecca Fisher. First off, Rebecca, good morning. How are good you? Good morning, Natalie. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to talk about this because I didn't realize it's been over 20 years now. So people have heard of Menopause the Musical. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, though, they still love seeing it. Rebecca, what is it about this play, this musical that is just so much fun that has really been able to withstand two decades? It is the, um, I think the genius of the pop songs of the 60s, 70s, and 80s that everybody knows that are so classic and they're hilariously re-lyriced uh, to things that all women can relate to, whether they're going through the change or not. And um, it's... Um, it's kind of a bonding experience with just laughs all the way through. How and important, we keep connecting. And obviously, I think that's the key, because how important is it to be able to laugh as women are nearing the change or maybe going through it, or even at this point, if it's in the rearview mirror? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely. Um, it feels hey, good to laugh. It's medicinal. It, it, you know what, Rebecca, talking about the longevity, though, one thing that you surprised me, I didn't realize it was written in Orlando. Yes. It's a Florida grown show. So explain what it, it takes. Explain how it kind of takes place. And it's an mm -hmm. organic like setup to the story in case people haven't seen it yet. So the <clears throat> four women come together in uh, the underwear department of Bloomingdale's and it starts over a fight over a bra. And um, <laughs> they end up meeting and relating and going shopping throughout the day, spending the day together and uh, talking about everything having to do with what they're going through. I, 17 million people have been able to laugh along with this. Yeah. 17 million women, I'm assuming, who can relate to this. Is yeah, that men like it too, though. Ah, I love that you pointed that out, too. Maybe it makes the men feel a little bit better and be able to relate to what some of the women are going through in their lives, right? Yes. And, uh, you know, oh, I understand my wife better, my girlfriend, uh, my sister, what have you. I love that. And, you know, again, I'm just sitting here, like, smiling along, watching a clip of, of what we're able to <laughs> see. What uh -huh. brings you, though, to keep coming back to the stage in the role? Because you have been in, in this before. What, yeah. what is it about this that you want to still stay involved with it? It's how we make the audience feel. Yeah. And the wonderful women that I get to work with when we do the show. It, it looks like things. you're having a ball. It looks we like do. it's fun for everybody there. Yeah. Aw. Well, Rebecca. It's so much fun. And it's a great workout for us, too. <laughs> hey, good call. Good. Well, laughter is good. Maybe you can burn some yeah. calories, too, in the laughter department if you're sitting in the audience. Because we need to tell people when the show is so that they can get tickets. We are playing the third through the fifth only four performances at the Straz Center. And you can go on menopausethemusical.com. We have uh, a show Friday night at 730. Saturday, two shows, 2 and 7.30, and Sunday at 2, and that's it. That's it, meaning go laugh along and get your tickets yeah. now. Get your tickets now. Menopause the Musical, once again, at the stress. Thanks for being with us today. Rebecca, have a treat.